Some new Google Now features could reach your smartphones in the next coming weeks. The FCC has taken matters into their own hands to verify carrier data speeds. And if Stephen Elop were CEO of Microsoft, iOS and Android would get MS Office. I'm Jaime Rivera. And trust me, the only thing worse about starting a weekend with a cold is not being able to drink while you're at it. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as, please raise your hand, how many of you are happy with your current data speeds? Because the FCC apparently wants to verify just how happy you are with a new application they've launched for Android. The idea with the application is that you speed test your current network, and you pretty much tell the FCC if you're happy with your current data speeds or not, and if these are as advertised or not. Which is really interesting since I always noticed that the speedtest.net application performs beautifully when you use it, but then when you try to upload a YouTube video, it gets throttled. So anyways. And speaking of official, let's talk about Nokia and their Lumia 1520 one more time as yeah, it was pulled out of the blue from the Microsoft and AT&T store for reasons we don't understand, but now it's available one more time. You can get it by November 22nd for $200 after a two-year contract. If you're interested in a phablet Windows Phone 8, this is pretty much your device, even though we still don't know who will want a screen that big. But anyways, the only problem is that apparently they will have shortages on the yellow unit, so move quick if you're looking for a big yellow device. And speaking of Nokia, let's go through an interesting twist talking about Stephen Elop as apparently he's already been talking about his plans as future Microsoft CEO if he would ever get the job before me. But it was apparently according to his plans, he plans to ditch the Xbox platform and sell it. Uh, which we're not even going to talk about here. But aside from that, apparently he considers that the Microsoft Office platform should not be something that should pull people to Windows products, meaning that we should get it on iOS and Android with no restrictions like we currently get with Office 365. Apparently he wants to give us the full version of Office, and hopefully they will without that crazy price tag that they have. So let's see how that goes. And speaking of products, you'll probably not want to buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 12.2. Yeah, 12.2, the Wi-Fi only variant has just stepped over at the FCC. It's currently getting verified and most probably we will be getting it in retailers in the United States very soon. It's just, again, interesting. 12.2 inches for Galaxy Note. If the 10.1 hasn't taken off with all its bevy of features and everything, we really don't know what the purpose is for this 12.2, but let's see how that goes. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it seems that Google now is about to get better for your devices in the next coming week or probably two. As it turns out, you'll now be able to talk to Google now and it'll talk back to you asking more questions. So it's a lot more interactive than it currently is just answering a question to you. And aside from that, you can also launch applications from Google now aside from other services that are probably coming. Now, these are still rumors, nothing really confirmed, but that leads me to the question of the day. How would you improve Google Now? What would you ask that Google Now be able to do? Because in my particular case, I love Google Now. I love it so much that I use it all the time, but still, I would love to get more options on those cards. So leave us a comment down below. And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on November 18th. Pocket Now Daily will return on that date. I will be out all of the next week, but we have a lot of content planned for you anyway, so stay tuned as you will be seeing me on video, only pre-recorded video. See you on November 18th again. <laughs>